time. Can surprise you in ways you can never imagine. It's such an embedded idea ingrained in our everyday lives. Our birth certificates are even timestamped. It comes as no surprise that we will lose or distort the perception of time. So let's talk about Top 10 Facts That Will Change Your Perception of Time France was still executing people by guillotine when Star Wars came out. Star Wars premiered in theaters in May 1977. The last execution by guillotine took place on September 10th of the same year. There was more time between Stegosaurus and Trinosaurus Rex than between Trinosaurus Rex and you. I like to think of the age of dinosaurs as this condensed period of time when every dinosaur was just wandering around the planet and doing its dinosaur thing, but prehistory isn't like that. The stegosaurs lived 150 million years ago, while T-Rex lived only 65 million years ago. So you can say less time separates us from T-Rex than separated it from stegosaurus. If you are over 45, the world population has doubled in your lifetime. In 1968, the world population was 3 billion 557 million. Today, the world population is over 7 billion and grows by over 200,000 daily. When Warner Brothers formed, the Ottoman Empire was still alive. Henry, Albert, Sam and Jack Warner opened their first theatre, The Cascade, in Newcastle, Pennsylvania in 1903. Meanwhile, the Ottoman Empire was spanned from 1299 to 1923, when Turkey became an independent nation. Harvard University was founded before calculus was derived. Harvard is the oldest higher education institution in the US, founded in 1636. Calculus wasn't derived until later in the 17th century with work of Gottfried Leibniz and Isaac Newton. The first pyramids were built while woolly mammoths were still alive. Most mammoths died out long before civilizations arose, but a small population survived until 1650 BC. By that point, Egypt was halfway through its empire and the Giza pyramids were already thousand years old. There is more processing power in a TI-83 calculator than in the computer that landed Apollo 11 on the moon. The guidance computer from Apollo 11 mission ran at 1.024 MHz, about one-sixth of the processing power of a TI-83 calculator. One is used by students to play Tetris and the other took humans to the moon. In the span of 63 years, we went from taking flight to landing on the moon. In 1903, the Wright brothers successfully flew a plane for whooping 59 seconds. 38 years later, in 1941, the Japanese used flight to bomb Pearl Harbor. Only 28 years after that, Apollo 11 landed on the moon in 1969. The History of Human Existence 
as the universe is estimated to be over 13 billion years old. If this time period represented by a cosmic calendar with the Big Bang occurring on January 1 at 1 second, then all of the recent human history will only have occurred at the very last second of last minute of December 31st. This may very well answer the question of why we haven't been visited by aliens yet. They may have already come in the past, but found no intelligent life to talk to. The galaxies we observe are millions of years in the past and could actually be dead. The Andromeda Galaxy is our closest galactic neighbor at 2.5 million light years away. That means the light from Andromeda takes 2.5 million years to reach us. And when it finally does, the light produces a picture of a galaxy that is 2.5 million years out of date. For all we know, many galaxies and stars we observe may be long gone. For example, the Pillars of Creation, a photograph part of the Eagle Nebula is one of the most iconic images ever taken by Hubble Telescope. But pillars may be gone already and not just because of young ungrateful stars. Around 6000 years ago, a blast wave from nearby supernova likely crashed into them, grinding them down and washing them away in the concert with the young stars. There is no way for us to see what pillars of creation or anything else in the universe look like now. We see galaxies 3 billion light years away as they looked 3 billion years ago. We see the sun as it looked 8.5 minutes ago. If you were standing one foot in front of me, I would see you as it looked 1.10670336 nanoseconds ago, which is the time it would take for the light to reflect from your face to my pupil. While our brains live in their present, we see everything else in its past tense. That's all for now folks. Make sure you do subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos and keep quenching your curiosity.